Hey guys, the fall season is upon us, so today we're going to use a paint designer to draw some leaves like this. Sorry for the quality of this tutorial, I got a bit troubles with my equipment, so now I'm just using <laughs> standard iMovie to deliver this week's tutorial. I hope I will be back on my regular software and hardware next week. As you can see here, I draw oval. And now I'm messing up with nodes. I'm adjusting those nodes to give it more organic shape. It's important to turn top and bottom node to be sharp, like this. You can use pen tool to make additional line in the middle popping out like that. Alright, so we got this oval shape adjusted with node tool and then line using pen tool. We can modify the stroke of this line here. We can make it thicker and also play with the pressure here. Take a look. We can just lower the pressure on one side like this. That's what we need here. I don't need the stroke around the main shape, so I'll kick this out. Now I can add some additional lines inside the leaf. So I will zoom in. You can use Command Plus or Command plus, control plus, or maybe this bar here, view. And again, I will grab no tool to make some little adjustments. Pen tool again, like V shape. But take a look. If I apply the very same stroke, it looks very strange. So I need to modify the pressure as well. This time I need a lot of pressure in the middle of the line, like this. So it looks organic. Okay, few more lines in this leaf. Like that, you see, every next line will get the pressure on it already, so we don't need to adjust that every time. Perfect, and our first leaf is almost ready. Now, to maintain this look, we can select all lines together and expand them into shapes. So layer and there's something expand strokes. This way you turn your lines, your strokes into shapes. Now I can unite them together, add together and this is just one shape now. So even though we work with lines first, we end up with just two shapes. So it's really simple to modify design now. You can just recolor it very quickly without messing up with strokes and lines. All right, time for the second leaf. I will start with the heart shape. Don't forget to use this advantage of having designer. We got multiple shapes to start with, not only circle and rectangle. So we can start with the heart shape and that's perfect opportunity for us because we can just make a rotation 90 degrees, sorry, 180 degrees and then modify some nodes. So I extend the shape and then I can use node tool on it to move every single node as I want. Don't make it too perfect. Make it more organic like this. And exactly same trick. Pen tool through the leaf. Play with the pressure of this line. And thanks to that we can get this line. Tiny at the beginning and tick at the end. Then we can use pen tool again to make smaller lines inside the leaf like we did before. All right, so pen tool maybe something around here. Maybe we can even zoom in a little bit Yes, this way we can be more precise. I like to use keyboard to zoom in, just press Command Plus or Control Plus on Windows. This way you can zoom in quickly without switching tools and then Command Minus to zoom out. This is exactly the same process as the first leaf here. We're using line, so it's really quick and then we can turn those lines into shapes by extending strokes. Remember that? Select all lines, 
then go to layer and there is something extend stroke here add all together and we end up with just two shapes here so it's again really simple design we've got two leaves ready to roll maybe we can draw one more and this time we will start with rectangle so rectangle tool like this let's adjust the color first using sliders all right brown i can use corner tool and i can round all corners first like that from here we can bake this appearance maybe modify this slightly we don't need exact perfect shapes when we design plants or leaves all right and then i will use duplicate of this thing so i can duplicate the whole layer or just hold command on my keyboard while i'm dragging the object around i need three copies to make this kind of leaf all right unite all of those shapes into one perfect and we can get rid of some unnecessary nodes simply by clicking on them and hitting delete on the keyboard okay let's add some finishing touch with stroke so again pen tool some little strokes here and there if you want to play with the raster tools you could switch to the pixel persona and then try to paint those leaves with some raster water brushes to give them textures we are not going to do it today but if you want to give them more organic look and you don't care that there will be no vectors anymore you can also play in pixel persona all right that's our last leaf almost ready expand strokes and group everything nicely together and this way we design three little leaves using a thingy designer i hope this tutorial was helpful and once more sorry for the quality but i was super busy and at the end of all of that my software just stopped working and i cannot record my screen as i usually do so thank you for today and i hope i will see you in my next tutorial bye